Hello everybody, welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the Swather Pack. But before that, this video is brought to you by Derek M. and Caleb Capel. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Swather Pack can be found over the farming simulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this mod is available for all platforms. Now the Swather Pack is something that is going to probably satisfy a lot of players kind of best wish list. Because I can tell you, in the entire time that I've played Farm Sim, all the way back to the early days of Farm Sim 17, a good Swather is something that an American Farm Sim player has been wanting and looking for every single day that they are playing the game. And I'm glad to see that we have something other than a John Deere Swather coming to the game. Now this pack has the ability to have four different brands. We have a Challenger option. We have a Massey Ferguson Heston branded option. We have a Heston option. Then we have a Case IH option. Let's go ahead and take a look at these things in the shop. So we're gonna go to our mods and DLCs. And we have the Agco Swather, $100,000, 190 horsepower, 377 liters of fuel, 18 mile per hour top speed, 5.9 ton weight. And we have a variable CVT transmission. Now we can get this with Case IH branding, Challenger branding, Heston branding, or Massey Ferguson slash Heston branding. Then when we come to tires, we have the option of Michelin Standard or alternate kind of like the alternate look we have continental standard midas standard knock-in tires standard or lizard brand tires i kind of like these two these kind of look like big old turf tires also like the knocking tires i think they look good in turf work also we do have the ability to add a license plate on the rear as you can see there then we have two mowing options we have the Razor Bar 16 foot twin max conditioner. This is 4.9 meter working width, 15 mile per hour working speed. Requires 140 horsepower, but don't worry. The only thing we can connect it to is the 190 horsepower swather. And we have options. We have the Agco, just kind of generic Agco. We can get it in case colors, Massey Ferguson or Challenger or Heston colors. Then we have a 30 foot, 9.2 meter swather head at 5,200, $25,000, just $500 more for significantly more mowing width, but it comes at a cost at nine mile per hour mowing speed. Now this one has a few tricks up its sleeve as well. We can get it in Agco generic, decal, standard, or yes, really should say no decals or Standard decals, we can get in case colors, massive Ferguson colors, and every time we add a decal, we are getting the same 5200 model on there. We add it with Challenger and guess what? Heston colors as well. Then we have this rather interesting transport contraption. I'm not really going to comment as to if this is legit or not, but I can tell you it doesn't look legit, it doesn't feel legit. But you know what? It might very well be legit. I don't know. It just is weird. This transport is for transporting the swather itself. Not the head, not the header, the actual swather itself. And I'm going to demonstrate how that works here in a little bit. Now let's go take a look at some of these things in action. So I've got a grass field set up down here, down below the shop. Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside of the cab. Now the inside is going to look the same across all of them. Let's take a look at our lights. We have first stage lights, second stage lights, third stage lights we have our flashers on the front rear and you also have the flashers on the header here a 
lower this down, turn it on. And right now we have it set to center discharge. That's right, we can change the discharge on this. And the way we're gonna do that is we are going to turn it off, we're gonna go to control Y. And now it is left swap. And guess what? That's not the only trick up its sleeve. We're gonna do control Y again. Shift the whole thing over, now it is right swap. Look at that. So you could mow right this way. And we're at 9.2 meters. And we can switch it right around and oh my gosh. Not quite 18 meters, but that is one heck of a windrow right there. Is it not? Now that's this trick. Let me go show you the other swathing header because that one has a really neat trick up its sleeve. And for that, we've got the Challenger colors. Now, what you may notice up in the upper right corner is this thing has two front attachments. That is because this will also act as a tether. So we could use it in a mowing configuration or a tedding configuration. And right now we're gonna use it as a tether and mower. So we're gonna lower the front, we're gonna turn it on. And you're gonna see we are gonna get hay out the back. Straight grass to hay, straight off the field. And this is running faster at 14, 15 miles an hour. So it's narrower, but it's faster working speed. And if we are gonna be making hay, well, one pass, we have mowed and conditioned the grass into hay. Now let's say that we don't wanna make hay. Let's say we want to cut grass for the purpose of maybe making silage. Well, the way this is gonna work is, I'm gonna line up here. We're going to hit G so that we are on the front facing connector, and we're gonna hit Q to disconnect. And we have now disconnected the conditioner from the mower. You can see that located right there. So there's the conditioning rollers. We're gonna now turn the mower on. And as you can see now, we are getting grass from the mower. And when it comes time that you want to reconnect the conditioner, well, the easiest thing to do is just going to be to reverse underneath of it. And we are gonna get the option of reattaching. like that we're gonna hit Q it's gonna lift it up and now we have the conditioner back we're getting hay out the back this header also has our lights on it now let's show you this interesting transport contraption and for that we're gonna to need to pick up a pickup truck or some other no, let's just leave that here we will have to use a pickup truck or some other transport option while this appears to have a rear hitch okay it appears to have a rear hitch it doesn't actually connect to this and the reason is because we're going to be use we're going to be using this to haul or transport that. So let me show you how this is gonna work. We're gonna to connect to our trailer, if you will. 
with our pickup truck. We're going to unfold the trailer with X. And then we're going to drive our swather. Swather, swather. And we're going to position it. That's right, sideways. Just like this. All right. The weirdest. Yeah, okay. That's transport position. Yes, it is. And then we are going to L to strap it down. Okay, so now we have our straps. We're going to X to fold it up, and guess what? Yes, this is how we are expected to transport this thing. I don't see how this is legit, but I guess it maybe is. I'd love to hear from you people. You peoples of the interwebs, if this is legit. Hey, a mode of transport for this thing. I don't see how it could be. But, okay, that's how it's designed to work. Strange as it may be. And then when we get where we are wanting to be at our final destination, well, we just unstrap, unfold, and drive the swather off the trailer. Just like this. Unfold, unstrap, Hop in and drive it off. Off we go. So guys, that is the Swather Pack. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you all think of this thing? It's got a really good rating on the Giants Mod Hub at this point. And if you like this thing, feel free to download it. Make sure you rate mods that you like and enjoy. Also from the Giants Mod Hub helps encourage the mod authors to create new and other interesting creations. I think I'm gonna be adding this to my gameplay. I just absolutely love the idea of being able to make one pass and getting hey. And then this thing, this thing is a beaut. I mean, if we're gonna make grass, for the purpose of silage. 9.2 meters in one pass. It also acts as the ability just like a um, the wind rowers. Totally blanking now. The merge max wind rowers. Where we can go left discharge, right discharge, or center discharged to get ourselves a massive massive windrow like this because the less times you go up and down a field the quicker you're getting the job done and until next time happy farming